HQ Residential House. It's an iconic asset, not only for the indie game horror scene, but indie games in general. Even if you don't know it by name, you've seen it before in countless games, like this one, or 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 this one. You get the idea, it's used a lot, often with the layout unchanged. But now, we're challenging game developers to use HQ Residential House in a cool, new, and exciting way. Announcing the HQ Residential House Game Jam. Brought to you by two prominent indie developers and yours truly, this game jam is all about using this iconic asset in a creative way. Enter your game featuring HQ Residential House in our jam on Itch.io and show that you can do something original with this all too familiar house. There's no limitation on the type of game you can make. It doesn't even have to be a horror game. And we encourage you to make it as fun and interesting as possible. HQ Residential House is even on sale now on both the Unity and Unreal Store until December 2nd and 4th, respectively. If you want to participate and you can't afford the asset, no problem, as long as you're still able to capture the essence of the house in your game. Entries may be submitted through mid-January 2021. After the jam is over, I'll play the best ones for a random horror games video. On that note, I would definitely discourage you from putting me in the game or similar pandering. Please try to make some genuinely cool stuff. Thank you. Can't wait to see everyone's submissions and good luck. Hey guys, it's John. Today we're playing a game called John's Awakening which I found on Itch.io, and I thought would be a good idea to play. What is that drawing of me? Uh, it's, well, you'll see why I'm playing it for this video, but I thought it would be apropos for the HQ Residential House Game Jam. Don't normally play fan games. In fact, I don't think I've ever played one before, but I'm gonna check this one out. And if you wanna play it yourself, there's a link in the description. Okay, let's, let's just go ahead and well, what are the options, first of all? Okay. <laughs> I'm excited to find out what my awakening is like. All right, I love it already. That's the HQ Residential House staircase, I'm pretty sure. I don't think this is the, the house. Wait, that's it! That, that was it in the background. Hmm. Are you holding out on us, John? Red equals scary. <laughs> Perfect. All right, I'm ready for this. Oh wow, I have a little I have a little avatar commentating in the lower left. This is going to be great. So I'm watching a movie on like a projector, is that the idea here? Whoa. I was just rummaging through my old stuff down here and started daydreaming. I'm still tired from moving all of my stuff to my new house. I still need to brush my teeth, get the mail, and maybe even sneak in a quick nap. So this is a reference to my constant irritation with indie horror protagonists having mundane tasks to perform, and then the horror happens on your way to do those tasks. So I guess we can expect similar here. Ugh, yeah, I need to brush my teeth. Here we go, that was it. What is this? What is this? Is this what I look like? I look like a robot. I like that the projector's just on the floor. That's great. Press tab to open cursor. Oh, it's the old, it's the old harshly critical logo. That's a nice touch. I haven't seen that thing in forever. Locked. Yeah, I lock my door from the inside. Just go with it. <laughs> True. Oh, how dare you? How do you put a toilet in the kitchen? Now I now I don't feel so clever making comments about it, cause it's done on purpose. Oh what? Oh, you're gonna put your toilet in the kitchen? Whoa. Haha. -ha. <laughs> what was that? Haha, <laughs> what? About the green plates? They are highlighter green. That's a little unusual. What about the salt shaker? You got anything to say about the salt shaker by itself in the middle of the counter? So for people that may be newer to my channel, uh, 
once you play so many horror games, you kind of run out of things to say. And uh, I tend to go around the house and just mock random items. A gas range. I don't know how else to describe a gas range, guys. Yeah, I think you summed it up perfectly. Oh, we got a gazebo? That's nice. That's pretty cool. I got a nice big backyard. By the way, we got land. Let's see what's in the fridge. Ugh, this fridge doesn't open. Damn assets. Oh, I see. That's too bad. We can't open our fridge. I guess we'll just starve. Oh, it's my, it's, it's the rig. It's my setup. So it doesn't quite look like this. Uh, it looks a bit different. Dare I say a bit more put together than this. But let me, let me see what I say about it. Ah, my Pentium 3. 64 megs of VRAM, Voodoo 3 RTX, dual 28.8K modem. They keep telling me to upgrade, but I'm just fine with what I have. Just kidding, guys. My rig would make most of you cry. Why would it make them cry? I, I do have a pretty good rig, I guess. I hate calling it a rig. I like, my, I like my red chair. This is my real chair, by the way. It's got my face on it. You can't see it, but I'm not going to zoom in to show you because I'm lazy. I like the plant in the corner of the room. As far away from sunlight as possible. Ensuring at a miserable existence. Are these... Hang on. Why, why is there a tiled room here with AC vents in the floor? Okay. I'm just gonna, you know, some questions are best left unanswered. Oh, pretty sure I've seen this car before and <laughs> that garage door. I'm sorry, what are my pants, dude? What are these pants? Oh, futuristic, bro. I can't see my reflection. Well, uh, man, this house layout is very confusing. Here's a red door. <gasps> It opens into the bathroom where there's an additional toilet along with the one that's in the kitchen. Brush your teeth. Looking great for a rotoscope screen cap. Brushing teeth. Remember guys, it's important to take care of your teeth. Brush at least once a day, floss at least twice. Time to get the mail. Yeah, you guys know me. I'm always banging on about oral health. Can't get me to shut up about it. Oh wait, yeah, we need to find the key to the front door. Oh, here's the living room. Bricks cereal. Look at this guy. Leaving his brick cereal out like this. Man, leave some commentary for me, man. Wait, that's my cereal. I wouldn't do that, I'm a tidy person. Tidy! I am tidy, actually. High definition television. I know I've seen this program before. I think it was in one of my videos from 2018. Attack of the Flesh Consumers. I spiced it well. Uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure I remember that exactly. Okay, here we have a painting. Let's see what my commentary on this is. Ah, one of my favorite works. Polygons by Yu Netty. Hmm. I, I can't help but notice that I start most of my sentences with, ah. All right, it's time to go upstairs. What's the point of this? This is wasted space right here. Bedroom door. Behold, my bedroom. I know a lot of you want to see this. I hope not. Weirdos. Okay, well, uh, as you can see, it's very underwhelming and very purple, <laughs> apparently. This is the same... Why do I have the same painting in two different areas? I have it, like, front and center in the living room, and then I also have it in my bedroom, so I can watch it while I sleep? Check it out, guys. I have uh, three shirts and three pairs of white pants, and that's it. All of my clothing... I didn't, I didn't buy any more. I've got multiple pairs of red slippers, too. So where's the key? What? This is... This is a completely empty room. 
window. Nice view of the initial development map. Game terminology. Game dev joke. Okay. If I can't find the key in my own house, uh, I'm going to be upset. Okay, th think like an indie horror game. Where would it be? It, it, uh, the toilet, the fireplace, inside the fridge, but the fridge isn't open. I think I've checked all those places. Inside the oven, could be in there. That doesn't open either. Uh, can I go into the backyard? Because I have a backyard with a nice gazebo, but unfortunately, I'm unable to actually get to it. There's no door that leads to it. Oh my god, the key is right next to my rig. Ah, the key to my front door. Since I'm in an expositional mood, I'll plainly state, pressing tab opens up the cusper, and moving to the upper portion of the screen brings up the inventory. Click to grab an item, click again to use it on an object. Press tab to leave cursor mode. Yeah, it's clunky. It's a free game, so deal with it. Wow, I'm sassy. Weird. Guys, was I talking just now? I felt strangely possessed just a moment ago. Yes, uh, you were ready to just, in the middle of your day at home alone, start spouting nonsense about clicking and dragging and pressing tab. Okay, so let's try this out. Uh, click on an item. Click again to use it. Oh, lock. Yeah, but, okay. Very weird. Oh. Oh, you move the arrow keys. You have to move the arrow keys to highlight it. I thought you could just click. That's a little weird. Ah, progress. Can I please stop starting every single sentence with ah? I should check the mail. Nice neighborhood. It's so quiet and no one bothers me. Eerily quiet this afternoon though. Nobody seems to be around. Uh-oh. Now can we explore the entire neighborhood? All the houses look very similar. So here's my mailbox. But we could always just go check out other people's houses. <gasps> Invisible wall. We can't. Look, here's the dividing line between <laughs> the interactable world and the other one. Is there some Z fighting I see over there? No. It's just light box things. Just light box things. Okay. Let's see what we have in here. Junk mail. Junk mail. Junk mail. Rat from J. Don't know what that is. Okay, I totally get it if no one understands that reference. I don't understand that reference. And I'm me. Hmm, looking to the west. I've never noticed that house on top of that giant hill before just now. Foreshadowing. Wait. Looking to the west. Which way's the west? The sun's overhead. Oh, way up there. Oh, the house way- We can't even see that, dude. It's way up there. Alright. Now I gotta go to bed in the middle of the day. Ooh. Ooh, this exposition is tiring me out. I'd like to take myself a little nap. Specifically, I'd like to take a nap in my bed, which is located up straight ahead when I go up the stairs. Hey, who am I talking to? What an odd remark. John, you're trapped in a game, don't you get it? Trapped in the game! Let's just leave our front door open. I feel that secure with my house. Time for a quick nappy poo. No going back after this nap. Oh my god. I would never call it a nappy poo. Wait, I don't have a head! Was that me? I was a headless white creature. <gasps> oh, come on. What? I can't get to my own car? There's not even anything blocking the way, except these dumb roadblock signs. Yeah, so I hate it. I hate it when horror games start this way. They always start with your car broken down, then you can't get to it, but then the lights are on. Okay, how did I get out here? Am I dreaming? Huh. My car parked on the road. Very original. And, yeah. Well, what's weird is that the tree... The tree is, is down behind the car.
So I'm not sure how that stops us from progressing. I don't know why we had to get out of the car. Oh well. Psst. What was that? That was creepy. Who pissed in my ear? Psst. It's not like I said who pissed in my ear, which is a completely different problem that I don't want to have. Guess I'll see if anyone's up this driveway. This is a driveway? Dude, anyone that works in construction, how, how long would it take to create an elevated pathway like this through woods? What an awful driveway. What kind of schmuck would live up here? This is like a, this is like a million dollar driveway, dude. Look at this. Look how high up it goes. I'm out of shape, man. Even in my own dream sequence. This build-up better be worth it. Feels like we're starting up a puppet combo game. We're going up the, the mountain in Nun Massacre right now. Oh my. It's a house. That, that's my house. Oh, no, I skipped through it. Never mind. Mm, I probably said something about it looks different somehow or Okay Explore your house find the first clue go. Oh god. I Think I'm going to be sick Comic I can't get myself to say it It's comic sans typeface my worst nightmare. Hey my it's my house, but it's completely empty. Do you want me to go upstairs? My rig is gone! Okay, two. Don't say go to sleep. What does it mean? Oh god, that font. Yeah, dude, it, it's it's Comic Sans. Not only, not only is it Comic Sans, but there's a lowercase t with a capital O. Which is just horrifying. What kind of maniac does that? Okay, I'm going upstairs now. Don't say go to sleep. You're gonna say go to sleep, aren't you? There's no other option. Okay, here we go. Uh... Hey, look, I'm casting a nice shadow. Oh my god, I did say it. Oh, for crying out loud. This is what the buildup was for? Jeff the Killer? Go to sleep. Listen, bub. Go to sleep. No, dude, you go to sleep. You aren't scary. You aren't even interesting to anyone who is above the age of 13. Even then, that's a stretch. Who drew you? Even for an edgy teenager, the artist here could use some major pointers. Go to sleep? I am asleep, you idiot. Or else would anyone bother to think about your stupid face? Very well. Obviously, we need to dig deeper than this. It says the full thing here, go to sleep in Comic Sans, but with proper casing. Well, sort of. Not really. Okay. Oh no. I knew it. It's HQ Residential House. <laughs> so now you see why I'm playing this for this video. Here we are. I'm, I'm can I just say, I, I'm impressed with how tall I am. I gotta be like seven feet tall. Look how, look how locked I need the key to open it from the inside of a bedroom. No, I get it, I get it. That's, that's stupid. Oh, it's my favorite, it's my favorite uh, <laughs> framed pictures. I think these like come with Unity or something. I don't know, I see them all the time. Okay, oh, we got, okay, it wouldn't be complete if we didn't read a note. A letter addressed to me, along with the bedroom key. The letter is beautifully written in Comic Sans. Dear John, this is a Dear John letter. I hope your surroundings are to your liking. Now pay close attention. This part is really spicy. There are seven closed doors in my unique house of terror. 
You must guess what is behind each and every door. Why is it written like the SpongeBob meme? <laughs> Why is it? It's like it's like the casing changes every other letter. One wrong guess, and an old friend will crawl up to say hello. Trust me, you don't want to restart the whole game over, right? Good luck, and think critically, 1-1. One, one. Wow, get on with it already, am I right? Yeah, true. Number of correct guesses. So I'm guessing... I'm guessing this is maybe the game dev? I don't know. Maybe that's the game dev. Who knows? Okay. Door. Locked. I need a key to open it from the inside of a bedroom. Right. Oh my god. Junk mail. I can look at the junk mail? I got the rat from Jay. Wait, do I... Oh, I, do I use these? These are like usable items. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is a little funky. But it's a free game. Okay, behind the store is... The exit to this abomination. A jump scare. The upstairs of this god-awful house. A looping hallway. The upstairs of this god-awful house. Right. Easy. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting quizzed. Damn, yep. HQ residential house, here we go. But every door is red. Okay, so behind this door is... I'm getting quizzed on HQ residential house. This is a child's room complete with toys. Survey says, child's play, get it? God, I'm so funny. Okay, I'm way less funny in this game than I am in real life. Okay, maybe that's the game developer. I don't, I don't know, what is that? That's like kind of creepy. Okay, um, am I, if I'm getting quizzed on what, uh, there's a washer and dryer in here. Behind this door is, uh, utility room with washer and dryer. How did I know? I must be transcendent. Okay, and then this is a bathroom. Uh, the guest bedroom, a guest bathroom. Correct. Oh my god, I'm doing so well. Okay, so this, this one on the left. Um, desk bunk bed combo. Wrong. Psych, I'm right, per usual. Okay. All right. So we've, we've gotten all of them right so far because I know this house like the back of my hand. I just want to see if I can interact with anything. Okay, this one is like the office, right? Guess I won't know for now. It's locked. But it's definitely the study with a laptop in it. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, I mean, that's what I was going to say. There's like a desk with a laptop. What? What is with the horns? Locked from the inside. Makes sense to me. Very locked with antlers and barred entry. Foreboding. Okay. Oh my goodness. Cannot believe, cannot believe this person. Okay. So we got green plates here. Just like uh, in my original house, I had green plates as well. Just like in that game, Mortem. Oh, it's boarded up. Can't go in the backyard. Okay, okay, here we go. Behind this door is um, a broom closet. It's a small bathroom. Yeah. God, I don't know if I should be proud or dismayed that I've gotten all of these right so far. Okay, if I'm not mistaken, behind this door is a bathroom with a bathtub in front and a toilet on the left. Ha! Nailed it. Okay, I won't need this key anymore. Yeah, time to time to toss it, am I right? Such an awkward, such an awkward toilet setup. Okay, check the last room. Here we go. Are you holding out on this, John? Red equals scary. White tote. I don't know what that means. Map of facility, and then there's the silver key. Got the key to the front door from the inside of the house. I suppose, theoretically, some people have indoor deadbolts. Very foolish people, but nonetheless. Time to get out of this nightmare. So, yeah. All right, so silver key. Wait, I still have the bronze key. No, it's, it's this room. Oh my, oh, wheelchair, very scary. 
Oh crap. Not this room. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I've been in this room. I was in this room just, just recently for Corpse Piles game submission. <sighs> Another letter. Dear John, congratulations. You've won the game. Why is it in quotes? Your prize. You still die. Ah ha 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 ha. Dude, this better not be a shitty one screen ending. Also, who writes ah ha ha in a letter? What happened? Oh, it's this monster. Oh, I hate that thing. I've seen that in so many games. What was it? It was in. I, I can't even recount how many games that thing is in. John escaped the situation somehow. He later complained about the graphics, the gameplay, and basically took a giant shit on this dumpster fire. Literally took an actual shit on it. Lovely. Impressive, considering that the game is intangible, yet John's fecal matter is a physical manifestation. I'm not sure how I feel about my fecal matter being described in such detail. <laughs> Replay, John. Quit, John. The end, question mark? Okay, I mean, I guess... Was that an ending? Uh, that's it. That's, that was the best ending, right? Is there... Is, are there more endings? Ah, junk mail. Oh, you can read the junk mail. I assume this is just to illustrate that this game has A, inventory items, and B, not all items are necessary to beat said game. I'm playing it again to see if I can get another ending. Okay, so I guess I can't really... Can I read these? What about Rat from Jay? Don't worry guys, he's perfectly fine. It's just a friendly rat with a note attached to his tail. Let's see here. Hi John, I'm your biggest fan. I sit patiently all day around computer waiting for your next video. I really miss the intros you used to put into them. It helps me track down where you're living at. I just love you so much. It makes me want to just live right next to your house. So many wrong yours here. Uh-uh. Nope. I don't do home invasion shit. Oh, and I'd like to take the time to remind people that I'm happy to proofread your work before going live with your projects. Rat discarded in a safe and humane manner. Yeah, I mean, I could have probably proofreaded this. If you cared. Actually, it's, it's not proofreaded, it's proofread. See, I'm proofreading myself about proofreading. Oh my god, you can get over them. You can get over the roadblocks. Ha! I can't do anything with the car, so I might as well take the key to it. Might come in handy later. Probably need to jump on the car to get back over the invisible wall. Wait, what? I have car keys now. Oh my god, okay. Wow. Okay, so there is another ending. Confirmed. Oh my god. Hmm, this key fob doesn't seem to open this garage door, unfortunately. Might come in handy. So I have a garage door opener and a car key. Okay, I think I know how to get the other ending. Assuming that these are the only two items I need, and there's not a third one. So, I found out that when you end the game, your items carry over when you hit replay. So I think that's what you're supposed to do here. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it. Get jump scared by... Poofer here. <laughs> Come on. There it is. Okay. I, li I like how... Like, who's screaming there? Is that me? Is that me screaming? Okay, I'm gonna replay. And then, so I should have the car keys and the garage door opener. And if I remember correctly, my car is in the game when I first started. So maybe I could just drive away. And that's an ending. Those were pretty well hidden. You have to try to jump over the invisible wall to get the car keys, and then the garage door open. That's why it said white tote on the board. I was like, I don't remember ever saying anything about a white tote. That can't be a reference to me. Okay. 
Hopefully we can get uh, an ending better than the fecal matter themed ending. Okay, it says to brush my teeth, but I think we're just going to skip that. Despite my advice that I gave earlier about like never, ever not brush your teeth. Okay. So garage door. Garage door fob. Oh, oh. Okay, and then my car. My car. I need my key to drive it. I know, crazy, right? You ever feel like you're trapped, but an allegorical wall keeps you from just driving away from all of it? To finally see what the real ending is? I feel like that now. Like right now. Like I need two different keys to get the fuck out of here. Okay. Two different keys, huh? Ah, just listen to the rumble of all four cylinders of this beast. Here we go. This is the secret ending. All right, watch where you're going. Wow, I'm a horrible driver. I'm terrible. Look at this. <laughs> There's a tree in the middle of the road. What does this ending represent? That John cannot escape the confines of a shitty horror genre? <laughs> Hey, hang on a second. Where am I driving to? Is it a literal interpretation of escaping this reality? Did the developer rush the ending out because he wants to play Cyberpunk 2077? Ooh. What does it all mean? Well, Cyberpunk's not out yet. Inspired by JW. I hope any and all had some enjoyment out of this. Until next time, think critically. Oh, okay. That ah, was fun. I had a good time with it. Of course, it's a game all about me. <laughs> so, of course, I had fun. Um, Yes, I left the toilet there on purpose. I knew it. I, you don't even need to clarify that. I knew it. I knew that you did. I, li I like that I still have the... <laughs> even on the menu, I still have all the items. And I have brush your teeth as, a, as an objective still. Okay, guys. Well, uh, let me know what you thought about John's Awakening in the comments. I don't plan on making it a habit of playing fan games, but I thought it was especially apropos given we're doing the game jam. And by the way, if you want to participate in the HQ Residential House game jam, there's a link in the description to that. Um, and we were planning this before I even knew this game existed, so it's completely separate. Actually, in a, in a recent live stream, I think I mentioned something about it in like June. I think I said something about it'd be cool to do an HQ Residential House game jam. So it's finally happening. Really fun. All right. Uh, I think that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Thank you.